Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, 2023. Unicron, the planet-consuming entity portrayed by Coleman Domingo, launches an assault on the Maximals' homeworld, a highly advanced race of Transformers. The Terracons, heralds of Unicron led by Scourge, Peter Dinklage, are on a quest for the Transwarp Key. This key has the power to open portals across space and time, facilitating Unicron's rapid planetary consumption. Apelink, David Sabalov, the previous Maximal leader who transforms into a mountain gorilla, valiantly sacrifices himself, enabling the remaining Maximals to escape before Unicron's devastating consumption. Now under the leadership of Optimus Primal, Ron Perlman, who transforms into a western lowland gorilla, the Maximals flee to Earth with the Transwarp Key. Unicron entrusts Scourge with the task of retrieving the key to facilitate his arrival on Earth. In 1994 Brooklyn, Noah Diaz, Anthony Ramos, a former military electronics expert, faces challenges finding employment to support his ailing brother Chris, Dean Scott Vasquez. Despite job interviews with private security agencies, Noah's past commanding officers label him as unreliable. The family's financial struggle is further compounded by being three months behind on hospital bills, resulting in Chris being denied treatment until the outstanding accounts are settled. Pressed by desperation, Noah, encouraged by his friend Reek, Tobin Wigwi, decides to steal a Porsche for resale, only to discover that the vehicle is the Autobot Mirage Pete Davidson, in disguise. Mirage, an Autobot spy with the ability to project holograms, transforms into a silver-blue Porsche 964 Carrera RS 3.8, a Formula One car, a Lamborghini Countach, a garbage truck, and an exoskeleton suit. Concurrently, museum intern Elena Wallace, Dominique Fishback, studies an ancient statue of a falcon bearing the maximal symbol and accidentally breaks it open to reveal the key hidden inside. The key releases an energy pulse detected by Autobot leader Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen, the leader of the Autobot Resistance who transforms into a red 1987 Freightliner FLA semi-truck, who summons the other Autobots, including RC, Liza Koshi, an Autobot sharpshooter who transforms into a red-white Ducati 916 motorcycle, and Bumblebee, an Autobot scout who transforms into a modified yellow-black 1970s Chevrolet Camaro. Mirage is contacted in the middle of Noah's attempted theft, and he is roped into the Autobots' mission to recover the key so they can use it to return to their home world, Cybertron. Noah is convinced by Mirage to help them break into the museum and find the key. Drawn by the key's signature, the Terracons arrive on Earth and attack the Autobots outside the museum, with Elena becoming caught up in the conflict. Scourge kills Bumblebee, steals the key, and retreats when the Maximal Arizor, Michelle Yeoh, a Maximal warrior who transforms into a Peregrine Falcon, arrives. Arizor reveals that the Maximals have been hiding on Earth for millennium, and Scourge only has half of the Transwarp key, which was split in two to keep it away from Unicron. Optimus insists that the key be reassembled so the Autobots can use it to return home, while Noah secretly plots with Elena to destroy the key to keep Earth safe. Elena deduces that the other half of the key is in a hidden temple in Peru. The cargo plane Autobot, Stratosphere, John DiMaggio, an Autobot air soldier who transforms into a Fairchild C, 119 Flying Boxcar Cargo Plane, takes them to Peru, where they meet with Wheeljack, Cristo Fernandez. An Autobot scientist and mechanic who transforms into a brown and white 1970s Volkswagen Type 2 panel bus, who leads them to the temple. However, the other half of the key is revealed to no longer be there. The Terracons attack again, and Scourge corrupts Arizor with Unicron's dark energy. Subsequently, the Autobots meet Optimus Primal and the other Maximals, who entrusted the second half of the key to a human tribe they have worked with for millennium. Optimus Primal reveals that the Maximals use the Transwarp Key to visit young New Worlds for the expansion of life throughout the universe. Primal also tells Prime how they allied with humans who shared their world with them. And the humans helped hide the key and also look over the Maximals for hundreds of years. Primal also puts B to rest in the valley which is rich in raw energon. It will take a great power to ignite the Energon which will in turn review B. Scourge's corruption overtakes Arizor, whom Primal reluctantly kills at her request to save Elena. In the chaos, Noah attempts to destroy the second half of the key, but Optimus convinces him otherwise. Scourge steals it and then reassembles the two halves, erecting a tower and opening a portal above the Earth, which Unicron will soon go through. Optimus and Noah agree to work together to protect their home worlds from Unicron. While Autobots and Maximals battle the Terracon army, 
Noah and Elena sneak in close to the key, planning to deactivate it with an access code Elena has uncovered. During the battle, Scourge wounds Mirage, who is protecting Noah, but transforms his damaged body into a powered exoskeleton suit for Noah so they can fight together. Bumblebee is reactivated when the key activates the Intergon infused valley. He helps the Autobots and Maximals turn the tide of the battle. Optimus kills Scourge, but not before the latter damages the control console to prevent the portal from being shut down. Optimus destroys the key and collapses the portal, willing to sacrifice himself, but Noah and Primal save him from being sucked into the imploding vortex, which destroys the remaining Terracon army and leaves Unicron stranded. In the aftermath, the Autobots, unable to return to Cybertron, proclaim Earth as their new home and vow to continue protecting it alongside the Maximals. Elena receives recognition for discovering the temple in Peru while Noah attends an interview for a security job but finds he is actually being invited to join the secret military organization G.I. Joe, who will cover Chris's health care. In a mid-credits scene, Noah repairs Mirage using junk Porsche parts from Reek who claims it is not roadworthy, and Noah disproves him by calling to Mirage to transform in front of Reek. I'm